What's up guys? I'm Roman. I'm Fiza. And? Millie. And Millie. So we're living in Malaysia, as you may already know, but we are under full lockdown. It means that we can't travel anywhere and we can't go further than 10 kilometers yes, either. Yes, we can. So unfortunately we can't shoot travel videos, but you may have missed our previous video. So we have the Aonang in Thailand. And Pohantian Island in Trungganu. In Trungganu and the Penko Island. So we're gonna post those three videos that we did last year and we hope that you're gonna enjoy it. And if you have not subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Enjoy the video guys. Peace. It's 2.30 in the morning and now I'm with my wife over here and we are on our way to Aonang uh, out on beach in Thailand near Krabi so we have our bags ready over here only two little bags that we bring in the plane so I'm just having a last coffee before we go and we will be on our way to the airport So we just arrived to the airport. It's uh, almost four o'clock. Our flight is at seven o'clock, and now we need to go to the gate. And nine. Can't see it on the video. So now we're going to our gates. Let me warm you up, oh baby, please. Let me love you much, baby, baby. Right, we just landed to the Krabi airport and now we're just gonna have to draw some cash book our bus to the hotel and I think I'm gonna sleep at least for two hours because I didn't sleep last night and I'm very very tired we we'll see you at the hotel all right so we just uh, bought our ticket to our hotel so it's gonna be 150 baht each but it's about 40 ringgit for, for both of us and we're going to stay in a hotel called Nemo 2 Resort. We just arrived at the Nemo 2 Resort in um, Aonang and I'm going to show you our room for the five days that we're gonna be spending here. Good morning, good morning. Bed. Say hello. Hello. And this is our bathroom. Very simple, but very nice. And I love the floor. Oh, it's pretty cool. And this is a shower. Alright, so we're gonna be spending approximately five days over here. Six days, sorry, six days, five nights. And we're probably gonna book um, a boat trip. Maybe tomorrow or after tomorrow, I don't know. And probably rent a motorbike as well to go to the, the beach around. And we're probably gonna go kayaking as well. Pisa wants to go massage. And we're gonna share all our stuff with you guys. Stolon restaurant. I don't know if I pronounce it well or not. Uh, what is your name? Green curry. Green curry. Uh, thick. Yeah. What is your name? Thick. 
Nick. 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 Alright, green curry. Green curry. Coconut sauce. Coconut sauce. So we just ordered a green curry chicken. But suka. 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 Okay, I don't know what it's suka. Suka. Alright, so it's our first day in, um, in Thailand, first time in Aonang, and it's gonna be the first time as well we try the green curry chicken over here. Video. Nothing to say, I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm very, very hungry as well, so I hope it's good. <laughs> if it's good, I will tell you. If it's not, I will tell you as well. <laughs> so, what is the name of the place? Sorry, I can't pronounce the name. Nong Thai Restaurant. Nong Thai Restaurant. So it's a halal restaurant as well, so if you're Muslim, it's a good place for you to go. So we just received our food, so we're gonna describe it to, uh, for you. So we've got two rice over here. What is the name of the salad? Papaya salad. Papaya salad. Green curry chicken. Green curry chicken. And two rice. <laughs> two rice. So take a take a take a spoon. Try. That's it for me. Maybe it's hot. See that? See that? Mm. Yeah. Really good. Very right. nice. Let me try as well. Okay. Another piece of chicken. Sorry guys, if I'm moving, not really easy to eat and talk. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. I'm hungry. Pasta. Please. So what you got? Coconut shake. Coconut shake. Well, I hope the coconut shake is good as well. Fresh coconut. Is it fresh? Really good. All right, we just finished lunch. We're pretty full with our meal, and now we're just having a quick walk on the beach at Aonan Beach in Thailand. So we just came back from the beach. It's very, very hot, and we are not very used to it. But I would like to share something with you that I've seen many times in Thailand, but maybe you haven't seen it yet. The fucking electricity. I will not like to be an electrician in Thailand. That's a bloody mess. Baby, please, love you much. Right, so today we're going to be renting a motorbike for the day. And we are at the Seashell Palace. Over here. And if you want to rent a motorbike over here, it costs 150 baht per day and you're going to have to ask May. Say hello May. Yes, hello. <laughs> so May will be here to assist you if you want to rent a motorbike. Alright, this is our second day in uh, Aonang. And we're just having our breakfast. We're having a beautiful chocolate, hot chocolate, long black, and pancakes. I already eat two of them. I can't eat Nescafe, so I needed to find a place with real coffee, and it's pretty good. So, what we're we gonna do today? What are we going we, to do today? We don't know yet, so we'll see after breakfast and we you can know decide. What we're gonna do. Don't know yet. 
So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna try to find um, a place to go uh, for tomorrow. We are going to try to uh, to book up a boat trip tomorrow for to see the the four islands. And Miss Fiza probably gonna get a massage today. Massage. Mm. Thai massage. Thai massage and food massage. Alright guys, now it's gonna be time for massage. So if you come to Thailand, you can't come to Thailand without getting a massage. So what are you gonna get today? Food you massage, neck and shoulder. plenty different kind of massage you can get over here you can get for example the foot neck head and shoulder massage for only 200 baht 200 baht that's like maybe 25 ringgit so 25 ringgit if you count in, in euro is like maybe uh, five euro for for a massage for one hour what is crazy insane Stop for lunch and for lunch we've got uh, green curry chicken with uh, sausages and uh, and veggies and what you got same thing same thing but with noodles as well mm -hmm. it's a so we're going to stop over here maybe for one hour this is a Poda Island. Island and after the Poda Island we will go snorkeling to Chicken Island we just um, arrived on the Tube Island and this is our boat. We asked for a long tail boat but for a reason that we don't know they upgrade us. We were supposed to get a long tail boat, something like this. And I had no idea why we got a speed boat. made a mistake the first island where we stopped was Riley Island the second island was the Popa Island and the one I just showed you it's called the Tube Island so the next stop is the Chicken Island where we're gonna be snorkeling and let's say like during um, the high tide we can't cross over there anymore so that's why we're coming at this time otherwise uh, the water cover everything. It's really, really hot. So I'm hoping not getting burned. I forgot my sun cream. But it's beautiful though, beautiful. We are now in Chicken Island. We stop here for a while for snorkeling. But the water is not very clear. I'll let you judge guys. One, two, three. Guys, so we just came back from the four islands uh, boat trip. So if you want to book your boat trip as well, it's gonna cost you around 750 baht each. What is it? Include the 400 baht. Um, what is it? Ma marine, marine park fees, something like this. And yeah, well, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. But there is a lot and lots of tourists, a lot of tourists, and it's very, very hot. So if you do the, the trip, don't forget your sun cream like me, and don't forget to bring a bottle of water. Guys, yeah, so we just arrived to the Aonang Thai uh, cooking class, and we are here with Sahao and she's going to teach us how to do a Thai meal. 
Hey, so today we're gonna learn three different meals from uh, Sao. We're gonna learn green curry chicken. We're gonna learn tom yum and spring roll. Are you ready? Let's go. got the spring rolls. Okay, so Sao is based in the Aonang and she has uh, three different classes. One in the morning that start at 9 o'clock and finish at 12. The second class start at 1 o'clock and finish at 5 p.m. And the third class start at 5 p.m. Until 8.30. Until 8.30. And she's open every day from Monday to Sunday. So this is our last day in uh, Aonang. So now we're just gonna go somewhere to eat something and then we will be on our way to the beach. What's up guys? So it's been uh, almost three months that we haven't been on a proper holiday since Thailand. And if you haven't seen the video, you can see the video on the description below. Now we are just um, ordering a taxi and we're gonna be on our way to the TBS bus station to the Burntian Island. TBS and this is what you need to do every time you go somewhere you're gonna have to write your name and your last name and phone number everywhere so you write the temperatures your name and your phone number so if you're traveling from the, the KL Central uh, station you're gonna have to go to Banda Tasik Selatan TBS and a bus ticket to the Burntian costs around 46 ringgit uh, each way and it takes around six to eight hours. Just uh, arrived in a, in a bus. At the beginning, we were supposed to, to drive there, but unfortunately, my wife had a car accident last week. We were very, very lucky. She just had uh, some bruise on the, on the knees and the uh, elbow, arms, and a little bit on the neck. So now she's feeling a little bit just, better. Just minor injury. <laughs> minor injury, and she's feeling better now. We can't drive because the car is, is damaged, and it's probably gonna take two months before we get our car back. So we decided to take the bus. We are now in a quite a suit, guys. We arrive around uh, 5.15 here and uh, we spent seven hours in the bus with the crazy crazy drivers who didn't respect the rules who almost hit the cars in front of us overtaking on the white lane but we are here <laughs> so now it's around 7 45 and we're gonna be taking the the, the boat to Pyeongchen Esa. We 
just arrived and we're going to stay in Abdul Chalet. So there is two main islands here in the Perintian, Perintian uh, Vesa, the big island where we are at the moment and the island is mostly for couples and family and there is also Perintian Kitsil, a small island mostly for backpackers and people who like to party. Right now I'm going to show you where we stay at the moment and to show you our room. Let's go! So there were no more chalet in, uh, in front of the beach so we're just a little bit in the back going to show you guys. The house is very simple, but we have a bed over here. And a shower. So we book our room directly from um, their website, abdulchalet.com. And we paid around 1,290 uh, ringgit for four nights, five days. And this includes uh, all your meal breakfast, the lunch and the dinner. So it's a pretty good deal I think. Yes. Just came back uh, from snorkeling behind uh, the jetty. Seen a few fishes but uh, the water is a little bit murky and we're now just having a little break, having a little burger. Right here. Uh, chicken burger. It costs around uh, 10, 12 ringgit for, for a burger, so it's very affordable. And we are now on our way to Suhaila Resort, where we're going to get a boat to go to uh, Perantian Kitchen. gonna have a little contest and uh, to participate you're gonna have first to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and to put your thumbs up so it's my wife first day uh, today and to participate to the contest you're gonna have to guess the age right if you do so we will pick one person to win a free discover evolution t-shirt so we are now on our way to a little snorkeling trip and we're going to see the shark point, the coral point, turtle point, and turtle beach. Let's go.
Today we are on Bangkok Island. So it's located around two and a half hours drive from Kuala Lumpur. Or if you want to take the bus like us, it will take you five and a half hours. The bus stop everywhere and that's why it takes so long. So today we rent a small motorbike. It costs around 40 ringgit. So 40 ringgit is like eight dollars a day to rent a motorbike. And we're going to visit the island. Let's go. We just arrived at a Dutch fort that was built in the 17th century and used as a warehouse to store tin ore. And they also had a nine cannons here, which probably explained the circular windows in the wall of the fort. arrive at a floating mosque and this mosque is uh, actually very very recent it was built in 2014 March 2014 but unfortunately we are not allowed inside because of the, the MCO so we will be able to show it to you only from the outside Nobody knows, trying to hide but it shows Lost my sense of logical Think that I'm gonna explode Echoes inside of my bones Not the brave guys, never dare to Take the leap when the chance is coming The Fooling Kong Temple Sorry if I pronounce it wrong, I have no idea how to pronounce it I tried to check online when the temple was built, I couldn't find it. So if you know, you can comment on the link below and let us know. It's a Taoist temple and it's following by the teaching of famous uh, philosopher Lao Tzu. So I don't know if you heard about the quote saying that its journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. That's from him. And if you have time to spare on the Chinese temple, they also have like a mini, mini uh, great wall over here. So it takes like maybe 10, 15 minutes to go all around. This is Patira Kaliyaman Temple. It's an Indian temple that was built around 150 years ago for the goddess Kali Kaliyaman to protect people from the deadly wave from the ocean. So as you may know, there is a lot, a lot of different uh, gods in the Hindu religion. And this one over here, it's called uh, Murgan. And if you ever came to uh, Kuala Lumpur at Batu Cave, there is also the, the huge statue of, uh, of Morgan. So I just tried to speak from there, but apparently there is a wedding. So you're not going to be able to hear me because they're playing music. 
But I just wanted to inform you that uh, Murgan and Shiva had two kids. The first one was Ganesh. Ganesh is the one with the uh, elephant face. And Kaliaman, the goddess of this temple. Stop at the market for a while. Wife went to buy some anchovies. Penko is very, very famous for, for anchovies. And the smaller they are, the more expensive they are. Like a pack like this. How many grams is that? This one 200 grams. 200 grams for 13 ringgit 60. So it's a little bit more than 2 euro. And this one? 2 ringgit 50 for how many grams? 200 grams. 200 grams. Uh, it's super cheap as well. But personally, I hate insurance. I really don't like it. So we just stopped at a turtle century and they have a little, little turtle over here. I don't know if you can see them very well on the video. And it costs only five ringgit for the for the entrance. So one interesting thing about the, the turtles is they come to the beach here in uh, Penko every two years and they release uh, around like uh, 600 uh, eggs on the on the beach. So they collect all the the eggs over here and they keep the turtle for three months. After three months, they will release uh, around 20 to, to, uh, to 30 uh, turtle, and only 50% of them will survive. So they have different uh, canvas where they, they keep the turtle. So in this area over there, they have turtle from two uh, weeks to three months. It's just by the us. They have some turtle from um, one year old to uh, six years old and this turtle can live up to 150 years old so I will die before the turtle <laughs> Waking up beside you and holding you